Another app I like to use to keep track of the books I read is called Goodreads. It's also free and I make sure that I upload all the books I'm interested in reading, reading or have read. And this way I can go back through the whole list of books I have read and I usually give them a star. One star uh, if I don't like them, five stars if I find them exceptional and occasionally I even write a little commentary on the book and this way if there is something I really love three years ago I go back to it I see that it's a five star and I may at some point be interested in going back to it. Best books of 2009 gives you an idea of what other people are reading and you can choose what categories fiction mystery fantasy I search for my books mostly here in Goodreads and go to the library there are more books in Goodreads than there are in the library and both of them are still not 100% in line with what's just coming out. So you have to be a little patient with them. It's a free service. So you're not going to get the latest, best book available in the library right away. You have to be a little bit patient. But I find that it's worth it. Or you can go to an app and pay for it if you just can't wait. But this is really a workaround. Make sure you sign up to Katya's Buzz and press like. It takes you five seconds and then I know that you like this type of video. I'm going to give you my five absolute favorite audiobooks out there. And I hope that you will take the time to listen to them and to let me know what you think in the comments below. And now we are going to go over my favorite books. So I'm going to go to my books. And this way you see the ratings here. All right, so out of all those ratings, I'm going to share five that I think are absolutely phenomenal. Bill Bryson is an incredible writer and I love his stuff. Uh, I read everything he has out there. This, the body is really good, but the best one is Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind. This is a jaw dropper. I love that book and I highly recommend you all read it. I have read it, listened to it, and read it again. The Help is a fantastic book. I loved it so much. You may have seen the movie now available on Netflix. The movie is very good. The book is even better, way better. It's a phenomenal book and it has... I mean, the storyline is the same, but the way it's read and the way it's written and the way it's portrayed in video is completely different. So please take the time to listen to the help. Cleopatra Life is a great book. However, I recommend you read it and not listen to it because I really, really did not like the voiceover. Uh, Water for Elephants is phenomenal. And my personal judgment the voice of that book made it a five star for me. I love the voice of the old man. Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen is an amazing book. <laughs> Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman is an exceptional book as well. I have recommended to several of my friends and they all agreed it's a really good read. So I hope you like that as well. The Girl on the Train is one of my favorites. The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins has made my day and I love the British accent in that book. It's super well read. And uh, from that point on, I have a friend whose name is Rachel. And from that point on, I've always called her Rachel. Rachel and she loves every time and I've asked her to read that book or to listen to that book and she loved it as well so it's one of my absolute favorites the theory of everything the movie is exceptional the last lion about Winston Churchill is an exceptional book 
and I would recommend it, reading it as well. All the books I have showed you on Goodreads are not necessarily just books I've listened to. There are plenty of these books I have actually picked up and read physically. Like I like to have the book in my hands. I have a preference. Certain books I prefer to listen to them and certain books I prefer to have them physically in my hand. And when I really, really, really like a book, I usually do both. Because it's just like a movie, you know, sometimes you have two or three different versions of the movie and you want to listen, watch them all because you liked it so much that you want to see how each one interpreted it. And uh, so, you know, it's just something I do. Thich Nhat Hanh, The Art of Living, is also a phenomenal read and it's something you can read over and over and over again just to have a little wisdom about life and how to live it happily and in harmony with the universe and everyone and everything around you. And so this is really uh, special in my favorites. I hope that you will take the time to listen to them and to let me know what you think in the comments below. This is really important to me. I have shared my list with a lot of friends and it's really good to get feedback. And that's, there's a lot of people out there that are crazy about books and audiobooks. And I think it's phenomenal to share the jewels that might be hidden and covered that you may never discover. They're out there, they're waiting for you to listen to them and to enjoy them. It's incredible literature, it's an amazing experience. And I just have spent countless hours of joy doing so. I'm going to ask you to join me on Goodreads so that you can share incredible books with me and vice versa, you can see what I've read and we can connect that way. So please take a second. If you are on Goodreads, find me. I'm under Katia Bordy. And if you are not, I highly recommend you sign up and start using this service. It's awesome. You can have access to it on your iPhone, iPad, computer, my goodreads.com. So just follow me and then we can share books and I'd be more than happy to welcome you into my circle. You have access to hundreds, no, thousands of audiobooks for free. And all you have to do is download an app and you're good to go. I hope you like this video. It's always a pleasure producing these videos for you. Have a wonderful day. Connect with me on Facebook, Twitter, whatever medium you use to get information so that you are aware of when I'm pulling out a new video or subscribe directly on YouTube so you know when I'm publishing a new video. If you enjoy the video tutorials, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and press like. I hope you'll come again. I will put more videos out there for you to be able to film better, edit better, do some graphic design, all for the purpose of putting your YouTube channel in the best possible light. 